Good evening everyone! This is Teacher SP and welcome back to my channel. So pagbago lang po kayo sa aking channel, mag-subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated for whatever videos I'm going to upload. So, ang ituturo ko ngayon guys ay what we call operations of functions. Noon, diniscuss ko na po how to evaluate the function, right? So ngayon, paano ba natin magagamit ang four fundamental operation ng function? We know that there are four fundamental operations of functions and these are addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Now, let us proceed to the concept of this four fundamental operation. So like for example, if I will be giving 3 plus 8, then the answer is equal to 11. So this is what we call addition. What do you call 3 and 8? So we call this our addends. Okay, addends ang tawag dito sa 3 and 8. And this 11 is what we call the sum. So therefore, the sum of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x plus g of x. So this is now the formula for the operation addition of function. How about this 10 minus 2? So we know that 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So let us identify. 10 is what we call the mean win. And 2 is what we call the subdrohen. And what do you call 8? 8 is what we call the difference. So therefore, f of x and g of x is defined as, okay, the difference of f of x minus g of x. Okay, and let us proceed now to number 3. 3 times 5, that is equal to 15. So what do you call 3 and 5? So 3 and 5 are what we call the factors. And 15 is what we call the product. So therefore, the product of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x times g of x. Okay? But how about this one? 16 divided by 2 is equal to 8. 16 is what we call the dividend. 2 is what we call the divisor. And 8 is what we call the quotient. So therefore, the quotient of f of x and g of x is defined as f of x over g of x such that g of x is not equal to 0. Why? Bakit na ang ating g of x is not equal to 0, guys? Kasi kapag 0 ang denominator mo, the answer is what we call undefined. Okay, let us prove. For example, 8 over 0. Sometimes, nag-iisip ka ng sagot ng 8 over 0 is equal to 0. Sometimes, nagsasabi tayo na 8. So, let us prove, okay, na undefined siya. Na ang lahat ng denominator na equal to 0 is undefined. Okay. If your answer is 0, 0 times 0 is equal to 0. So, we know that this is 8. Kapag 8 naman ang sagot mo, guys, 8 times 0 is equal to 0. So, walang tamang sagot. So, therefore, all the numbers that the denominator is 0, that is what we call the undefined. So, these are now the four operations, the formula of the four operations of functions. Okay. I will be giving you an example and we will be using this four operations. Okay, for example, find the value of f of x is equal to x minus 3, g of x is equal to x plus 5. 
using the four operations of functions. So therefore, so using f of x plus g of x, so i-add lang natin, x minus 3, x plus 5, then negative 3 and positive 5, that is equal to positive 2, x and x, so 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2x plus 2. Is this now our final answer? Hindi pa to final answer natin, guys. Kundi, we are going to get the common factor of this. So, therefore, the common factor is 2. Okay? 2x divided by 2, that is equal to x, plus 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. So, therefore, the final answer is 2 times the quantity of x plus 1. Okay? Now, next is we are going to subtract x minus 3 and x plus 5. So, in subtracting this number, guys, so we have to follow the rule in subtracting an integer. So, the rule says that you are going to change the sign of the subtrahend. And we know that x plus 5 is the subtrahend. So, therefore, positive magiging negative, positive becomes negative. So, negative 3 and negative 5, that is equal to negative 8. And positive x and negative x cancel na yun. So, therefore, the answer is equal to negative 8. Okay? So, how about number 3? Okay. Number 3 is what we call multiplication. So, we are going to multiply these two binomials, x minus 3 and x plus 5, using a FOIL method, right? So, x times x, that is equal to x squared. Negative 3 times x is equal to negative 3x. Outer term is x times 5, that is equal to 5x. Combine it together, that will be equal to positive 2x. Okay? Negative 3 times positive 5 is equal to negative 15. So, therefore, this is now the answer for the multiplication. This is now the product. Okay? Now, let us proceed letter D, which is the division. So, x minus 3, okay, divided by x plus 5. You cannot divide this two. They are binomials, pero magkakaiba sila. You cannot also use the cancellation method. So, therefore, this is now the answer using the four fundamental operations of functions. So, I hope that uh, you uh, learned something today. And for the next lesson, we will be proceeding or I will be explaining the four fundamental operations, but it's a complicated uh, equation. So, thank you so much, guys, and have a great day, everyone.